So for this one, it's going to be an open D tuning with the capo on the second fret. So with no capo, it would be D, A, D, F sharp, A, D. And with the capo on the second fret, it sounds like this. So you're in open D tuning with the capo on the second fret. The song has not that many parts. There's the intro and verse, which is the same thing, the chorus, and then the little outro part, where she kind of does some different stuff. But the intro and the verse are the same as each other. And it's literally one chord that she's just sliding different places. So we'll start off with that chord. You're gonna take your middle and ring finger and place them on the 12th fret E and A string relative to the capo. And then your first finger on the 10th fret relative to the capo on the G string. Those are uh, the three strings you're fingering, and this is the chord shape that's going to stay the same through all of the intro, oh, and the vast majority of the verse. So you're going to strum this chord. And then when I refer to a fret, I'm referring to which fret your middle and ring finger are on. So they're on 12 right now. They're going to move down to 9, pretty sure. Yeah, nine. Then seven. Back up to nine. And then five. So all together, they're t uh, 12. Nine. Seven. Nine. Five. And then once you're on five, the second part of that chord you're going to place your pinky on the fifth fret g string and the strumming pattern for that part is just sort of like a down 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 up down 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 I'm not going to go through and say down up every time I strum because if you're playing snail mail stuff you should probably be able to figure it out but just slow down a little bit and that's the part that the pinky gets put down so that covers all the way through the intro Same thing for the second part of the verse. Literally just doing this over and over again. And then it's going to transition when it goes to Wish I knew him better though I And then you're going to do the same chord movements, but you're just going to strum it once. So Wish I knew him better though I Don't think there's much he want to do to the last one so and that leads into the chorus and this is going to be the only time that the verse transitions to the chorus this way the through the just the regular chords the rest of the time it's going to be like you know which we'll get to later but that covers the intro and the verse all the way up to the first chorus so for the chorus you're going to go from this chord slide it down to 
the second fret with your uh, first finger on the first fret G string. So, two, two, open, one. It's just basically the same chord, but squished a little. Nuts. You're gonna slide that up to the ninth fret and just go nine, nine, nine with the uh, E, A, and D strings, and then open. It's easier to do it with these fingers for me because I'm used to playing snail mail stuff that does this a lot because she does first finger stuff. But in this song, it's not actually necessary. That's just what my muscle memory tells me to do. So if it's easier for you to go, then go for it. Just nine, nine, nine. And then you're gonna shift that down to the seventh fret, seven, seven, seven. part she goes no and I mean it it's the next part we'll do so fifth fret with your on the E string with your uh, middle finger fourth fret with your first finger on the G string fifth fret on the B string with your uh, ring finger and then pinky on the fifth fret E string that's the chord. And that chord's gonna come up a lot. <coughs> Sorry, I have laryngitis. And then after that chord, she's gonna go to this chord, which all you're doing is pinky on the fifth fret B string and first finger on the third fret G string, and then all the way open. So. No, and I mean it. Back up to this all ninth fret thing from earlier. I'm not wasted anymore. And just nine, five, uh, nine, seven to five. So all together, the chorus from you know the last part of the verse. I'm better though. I don't think there's much you wanna do. That's the end of the first chorus, and then she'll pick up, you know, this again. This is with no singing. Do it once, just like normal. And then you're gonna go to this part. So that is, you're gonna be sliding around with your uh, middle finger and third finger on the E and B strings. So it's gonna be the same fret every time. So middle finger on the E string, low E string, ring finger on the B string. So you're gonna start that first at the 12th fret and go to the ninth fret. Then up to the, I guess, 14th now. Yeah. And then you're gonna go back to this, this chord from the chorus. So those are the basic chord shapes. How it's played is you're gonna go like, you're gonna strum the whole thing, not just pick it, you're gonna go down, down. Up to uh, the 14. And take your finger off. And then go back down to this chord. And then take your pinky off of this chord all together there's some cool overtone stuff happening there because the sound that uh, is actually being heard is not like it's it's like and not just because of overtones. 
Same thing with this. No, that's actually not overtones, that's actually the note, but it's just a cool thing she does. Anyway, tangent, then it's uh, back to the verse. Tomorrow night's impatience in an endless perfect world, blah, 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 and then Tomorrow I'll feel differently, but my mind will be made up And then when she goes, times when I could buy your love It's times when I could buy your love But I don't think that I'd have enough So you take this part and just interject it into the last, like, line of the verse so, three regular cycles of uh, chorus and then one of this part. And then a regular chorus. Etc. After that second chorus, it starts to like. And then you know, like. The really fun parts. So to start that off, you're just gonna, uh, like the same shape you've been doing for like the, this part, just take your pinky off the D string, move it down to the G string. So after the chorus, you're going to start hitting that chord. And then you're going to move down to the 5th fret. Middle finger, 5th fret, E string. Mute the A string. 1st finger, 4th fret of the D string. Uh, rank finger on the 5th fret of the G string. And you're going to do that twice. And then you're going to keep your 1st finger the same. Take these two off and move your pinky up to the seventh fret of the A string. Just for one little beat. And then five, five, open. With your middle and ring finger. So all together it's. And then twice, so cycles again. to the whole so all that is is ninth fret only on the B string or not ninth fret yes ninth fret ninth fret this is the only uh, note that's played ninth fret on the B string but it's easiest to fret it with your pinky because you're gonna slide back into this chord so fret it with your pinky and just go and then you're gonna slide it down to the seventh fret Place your ring finger on the 7th fret G string and your 1st uh, finger on the low E string of the 5th fret. You do that three times and then you're going to go to this part. which is you go, it's the same sort of idea as this chord from the chorus, but it's just broken down and messed with a little. So you're gonna go middle finger, fourth fret, low E string, uh, first finger, third fret, G string. Those are the only two things you play uh, to start and you go. Then you're gonna slide it up, but when you slide it up, you're going to put your third finger on the G string on the fifth fret. So you're gonna slide this up and place this here, third uh, G string fifth fret, and then remove it, so. Because your other finger should still be right behind it on the fourth fret. And that's stupid, stupid, stupid part. Which 
which is just uh, this part, this chord that we just did, but your third and pinky finger move from the uh, B and G strings to the D and G strings. And you're gonna cycle with your first finger on the fifth fret between the A and E strings. Starting with the A string. stupid you're gonna do this again and do it again on me this is the same thing and then end the song on the same part and that's how it ends so all together you have the intro, which is just this twice. Then you have the first verse, which is just that four times. And the transitions into the chorus. Uh, Wish I knew him better, though I don't think there's much she wanted to. Then you have first chorus, etc. Then you have the transition into the second verse, which is this once. Then the first time you, we see this part. this three times. For the first three lines of the second verse. <clears throat> In the fourth line of the verse, we go back to doing this. So that's that's the transition to the second chorus. So times when I could buy you love, but I don't think that I'd have enough. And then second chorus is a regular chorus. And then from that second chorus, you're going to go into the... that twice and then to the three times and then you do this and then the whole stupid 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 part Transitions to the same thing, but just saying me instead. And then you end it by doing this again. I uh, hope this has been helpful. Let me know if you have any questions. I'll be happy to answer them.